Hello, hello, it's your girl Laura and I'm back with another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to draw water. Yep, back after the intro. Yes, we're going to draw water droplets or tears, and I'll show you why at the end. I thought my camera was running. It seems like every video I have some little glitch or some something that doesn't go right, and I end up apologizing right off at the bat. But I thought my camera was recording, and I had just drawn these shapes, one circular, another one kind of a bean uh, irregular shape and then the shape of what a tear might look like and then I went ahead and laid down one layer of number two pencil and just blended that out now I'm going in with a darker pencil because I'm gonna try to capture those mid-tones always keep in mind when you're shading that you're looking for darks mid-tones lights and highlights so right now I'm doing those mid-tones and then I go in with a charcoal pencil and get the darkest ones because you're going to have some shadowing uh, behind the water, the, the water's edge, and you're also going to have uh, some dark shadowing in front of the water's edge. I, I guess what we're trying to achieve is surface tension. We're wanting it to look like it's dome-like and that there's something underneath uh, a glistening uh, transparent type drop of liquid so now i just went in with the erasers and pulled up some pigment to create those highlights look how that's kind of glistening kind of like it's wet so now we're going to do the uh bean shape or the irregular shape and the the um rules still apply you're going to look for the dark darks mid-tones uh, before and after that actual um, shape and just mimic what you see and also know that uh, if you were to do this on a color background and use you were using color that what you would be seeing in the central area of the shape is uh, the color that uh, the liquid is laying on top of. So I'm kind of doing that with shadowing where you can see underneath that transparent layer of fluid. I use a kneaded eraser to pick up larger areas of pigment to create a, a, a bigger highlight. And um, I'm not trying to make this look pretty and uh, smooth. Nothing in real life is that homogenous, that perfect. So you're gonna see some irregularities in where light and dark fall. Okay, now I usually do portraits, so you might be wondering, why is she drawing water? Well, just in case you want to apply tears or moisture to a face. I did this drawing about a year ago, and it's called 
regeneration. I wanted it to look like a rebirth, an awakening of some sort. And I thought just having a splash of water on the face would be sort of like some sort of baptism into new life. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun doing it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's free to subscribe. And you'll help people find me on YouTube if you'll hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.